Hey guys, how you going? We are back today with another bird makeup video. I've been wanting to do this one for a few weeks, but um, a couple of things have happened um, over the last sort of month or so, so I've had to take a step back. But we're here now, I'm back. Now, a lot of you guys do enjoy my bird makeup videos, and I enjoy doing them too. You guys know I have like an obsession with birds. I have my own bird, my galah, and I just die for a bird. <laughs> so I do love them, they, I don't know. Until you own a bird, you just won't know. Um, until you own a bird properly, I should say. Anyone can own a bird, but they just don't do it properly. But that's another story, another video, we're not here for that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup like a plum-headed parakeet. Um, you guys will see the picture of the bird at the start of the video and on the thumbnail and whatnot as usual. So it's just beautiful. I always thought it was the type of lorikeet, but maybe it's not, I'm not too sure. So these beautiful purples and greens, um, I'm just, I'm thinking the purple is going to be the main part of this eye, it's going to take up a lot of the space as the, um, the parakeet's entire head is purple. So I'm really looking forward to this one, I've been looking forward to doing this for, you know, at least a month now. So instead of me blabbering on about birds, we're just going to get started. Alright, so I've just opened my phone so that I can have a better look at what the parakeet looks like. Um, so obviously as you can see the big sort of purpley coloured head, uh, the beak is also quite bright and yellow so I'm thinking we're going to start with our, definitely the yellow in the corner of the eye, sort of like where the beak would go like I've done with all my other videos. And then a lot of purple, there is a black ring around like most lorikeets, that's what made me think it was sort of like a lorikeet or a ringnet or something, in the black. And then it goes to blue and green. So I've got a quite a few colours to work with here, but you guys know I do love my colour and I've got my beautiful um, festival palette. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Now you guys know I also always um, prime with my e.l.f. primer. We've just sort of done the eyes, or we're about to do the eyes I should say. Um, so I'm going to get that done with this and then we'll go through with our Fit Me foundation. I am using... Um, I've got two foundations to pick from. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use yet. One of them has a really different formula and it's... I think it's darker than my skin tone, I'm not really sure. But um, we'll have a look when we get there and then we can go straight in and just get some colours starting. <sighs> okay, now that our primer has gone on, it's set, it's a little bit sticky but that's the way we want it. I'm going with our Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless in shade 115. I am just going to get my mini uh, beauty blender and just go around the eyes. Um, later on we can do the face with either the beauty blender or the, the big brush. Now I can't remember what it's called, Artiste brush. We'll see how we go, but um, let's get this one on now. Okay, our foundation is on, it's set. I just put a little bit on my cheek because I put too much on the beauty blender, but that's okay. So we've got our festival palette with all our bright, beautiful colors. This is definitely my favorite one when I'm doing birds because they are so bright and beautiful. We need that. So um, with our colors, I think we're definitely gonna start with our yellow. That's gonna be the uh, beak. It might be a yellow orange. I think I'm gonna have to mix the two. I'm looking at the photo that I have, it's not just yellow. There's like a dark orange sort of in the middle. And then we can go out and hit one of our purples. I'm not really sure which one. This picture has like a ready purple on the face and then it goes out to like a, a purple purple. So I think we're gonna have to play around with it a little bit. I am looking forward to using lots of different colors and I keep going out of focus. Hey. So I'm looking forward to using a bunch of different colors and hopefully it just looks good in the end.
You guys, I'm actually so happy with this. I'm loving the colours. I'll try, I'll close my eyes and try and talk, but you know, I can't see. Um, I love how it goes from the yellow and the orange. There's a little bit of like a really reddy colour um, going on to like a pinky purple, then into the dark. I'm just loving these colours. I When we're sort of done, I will zoom the camera up nice and close so you can see, but I am looking in my mirror here and I am just loving how this is coming out. I'm very happy. So what I think we're going to do is obviously, um, this is sort of the face, I think I'm going to try and fill this top bit here with um, the blue and the green colour sort of, or possibly across the bottom but I'm not very good at that. So I think we'll stick it in here where it is quite sort of bland, um, try and keep it all on the top because I like focusing um, and using up all the space here. So we'll go in with our blue and green there. Okay guys, my battery died. So I've had to change that, so I've moved a little bit, but um, it's more or less the same. I think you can see the eyes better here. Um, my camera has decided to flip, so everything's sort of in reverse. I have to work this camera out. Um, but looking in there, and I'll close my eyes again, I think it's better you're able to see a bit more of the color. Um, as I said before, the camera died, we are gonna go in with um, the rest of it, which is a little, little bit of like an aqua blue and then um, like this lime bright green. So we're gonna try and fit that in along the top. I think the blue will be here and then the a little bit of green at there, just so it looks kind of good. Then we can do our mascara and let's see what kind of lip color we can look at for this. I think we're gonna try and match the sort of ready, a tiny little bit of red in there. I think that'd be the best to try and match that sort of, cause it is sort of the most dramatic colour there, plus I have lots of different types of red lipstick, so I think we can find the perfect one for that. So we better get started because I just keep talking. So I will get started on the uh, blue and green now. Are you guys um, in love with this as much as I am right now? I am absolutely, oh my camera's flipped, it's back to normal. So I am absolutely in love with how this has turned out so far. Look at these colours, it is exactly, let me bring up this picture of this bird <laughs> so you guys can see. I don't know how well this is going to focus because I can see. Mm. Anyway, I'll put a picture up. Um, this has turned out beautifully. This is more than what I could have asked for. The colours are just so insane. I don't mean to look away from you guys. I'm just in love. I'll close my eyes so you can see a bit more. I think I may run through it with just a plain brush just so it can blend a little bit better. Um, you just get a plain clean uh, brush and just sort of blend it a little bit. Um, and then I'll obviously do my mascara. Um, but, and I'll bring it up once we do the mascara, I'll bring the camera up nice and close, as close as it can. Camera's not the best at getting nice and close, seems to always sort of unfocused, but we'll try. But I am just very happy. <laughs> so I'll quickly do my mascara, we'll bring the camera up, have a little look, and then we can do the rest of the face. Okay, so I had to get my mascara because I didn't bring it in with me. Um, so this is the Revlon, uh, this is the uh, Ultra Volume, they did have, um, there's like five different colours of these. There's like a blue one and a green one and some other colour. This one, um, when I went there was two choices. There was volume and something else, but I liked this one. And it's like, it's a weird shape compared. Most mascaras are just like a tube. This is just sort of odd. It makes it easier to hold too. I don't know, I do love this and I would probably try one of the other ones as well. 
I can't remember what the other colours are, but if you do see them, it is a great product. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this one, then we'll have a look a little bit closer so you guys can see the detail, and then we'll go out and do the rest of the face. Okay guys, I brought it up a little bit closer. This is about as close as, as it'll go before it starts freaking out and um, not focusing. So hopefully this will be enough for you guys to see. I did put a bit of mascara on. I did get a little bit on the blue, but let's just ignore that. Um, so what I've done is I've done the mascara. I'm trying to focus on a good eye. Um, as you can see, it's the yellow and orange sort of mix going into the red, um, into the sort of the purple colors, and then that little bit of the uh, blue and then a really light green. But I am so happy with how this has turned out. Absolutely stunning. I am just, I can't wait to take a photo of it later and put it on Instagram as sort of the, my first thought. So obviously what we're gonna do now is gonna bring that camera back out. Um, I've already primed the rest of my face, which is great. So we just have to go through with some foundation, uh, concealer and I'm thinking yeah I'm still going to go with that red lip I think just to really brighten up this red here I think it'll just really bring it out nice so we'll zoom the camera back and then I'll see you guys on the other side okay guys we're going to take our matte forms again on our big beauty blender I should dampen this but I'm quite lazy so it might not come out exactly how I want it to come out um, so I'm just going to quickly speed through that and then I'm not going to forget concealer because I seem to always forget to do concealer Every video, I swear, it's the one thing I forget. In the end, it doesn't matter. I just go for a shower straight after. Um, so I'm going to quickly dab all of this on, and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, after much dabbing we're here, I think my window is making me look shiny, um, but that's okay, we don't mind. Um, well, I do, but I don't, you know. So I'm actually gonna remember to put concealer on now. I may go and slightly shut my curtains so I don't look so white, um, you know, but we'll come back to that. Okay, I think shutting the curtain may have slightly helped, but at the same time, I don't think it did anything. Um, so I've got my uh, mode foundation which I got for like three dollars from Coles. Um, it's actually not too bad. I'm not unhappy with it. Um, so we're obviously going to stick this under the eyes and just a little bit here, maybe on the chin. We'll see how we go. Um, and then we can go into some more fun like highlighters and um, lipsticks and stuff. So we'll get started on that. Okay, now that we have successfully concealed, we're going to be taking some uh, translucent powder. It will probably take away a bit of the shine that we've got going on here. Obviously the window is not helping, but um, it will take a bit of the shine. And then we'll go in with our bronzer, just in the normal areas here across the head, so we don't look like one big white blob. And then we'll go on to the next steps.
All right, now you guys know I'm a big fan of highlighter, particularly with my bird videos, I guess, because I want to be bright and sort of uh, a lot of attention needs to be drawn. Not that it already isn't, um, but I feel like it needs to be drawn. I'm trying to be in focus, there I am. Um, to sort of the face, I definitely want to put a little bit here. I always seem to go overboard, so I'm trying not to. I'm trying to dab a bit more off, just to try and, you know, I think it's on, it's hard to tell. If not, <laughs> I'll just stick more on after. Um, but you guys know I love my highlighter. I'll brush it out again after. There it is. Mm. I'm like addicted. It's like my, it's like a problem for me. Like addiction to highlighter. Maybe I need like highlighter. Um, highlighter's anonymous. Because I just got problems. I always, after I stick my highlighter on, I do take one of my big powder brush and I sort of brush on top of it. It just, it just takes it away a little bit. I mean, obviously we can still see all of that here, but um, I think it just takes away a bit of the excitement because I'm just not a fan of heaps of it. Well, I am, but I'm not. Um, and maybe just a little bit on the nose and chin and head. <laughs> see, I've got problems. Um, so now that that's stuck on, we're basically almost finished. I am going to get um, a red lip just to finish this off. So I'll stick that on and then we can see the final look. So originally I was looking for a red, but every red that I picked out, it just seemed like too red. So I'm thinking I'm going to go, oh, it's too dark. Is it too dark? Where's my stick? Maybe I'll go with, no, too dark. I just don't want it to be so like sickeningly red. Let's go with that. That's nice. So this is Marl, um, which I think it's not too red, but it's not too dull. I think just too much red could kill this. So I'm thinking this, just like a nudie red. Yes, I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to quickly pop this on you better see, and then we'll look at the end. I think this was the perfect colour. I would usually dab it down a bit with a bit of paper or something, toilet paper or a tissue or something, but I don't have any on me in this room, so it looks a little bit full on. Um, if I dabbed it down, I think it would just take um, the cakeness away from it, but I just don't have that with me at the moment, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see. But I think, yeah, this is the perfect colour. It's just like pink and red enough just to bring a little bit of that, that red out in the eye but it's not as bright and full on as a red would be. So I'm super happy with this entire look. I can't believe I'm so happy. Um, so make sure if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe. Also, if you want to see any other birds, then let me know what your favorite bird is, or if you want to see um, a different bird in makeup form, let me know. I have done a galah, I think I've done two lovebird videos and also the sun conya. So this will be uh, the fifth one, I think, uh, which is our plum hair parakeet. So, you know, I'm very happy with this, how this is all working out. So, I'm going to go clean my house. You guys have a fantastic weekend. It's Saturday here in Australia. It's beautiful blue sky. I've already been up one mountain today, so I'm hoping um, another one tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.